Looking ahead, you can get into the Mardi Gras spirit a little early. The Fort Smith Museum of History is having a Party Gras fundraiser this weekend. We've got Lisa Gramlich with us from the museum. She's the executive director there. Good morning, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you taking the time to be here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Before we talk about this event coming up this weekend, let's talk a little bit about the museum. What can people do at this museum? What are they going to see? The museum, the Fort Smith Museum of History, uh, tells the story of the growth and development of Fort Smith mm -hmm. from the military fort that was established in 1817 up through the 21st century. So that this is about the only museum in town that covers the whole scope of the city, uh, the growth and beginnings from of the city and what it became today. We were established in 1910 mm -hmm. with the mission of preserving and uh, exhibiting the history of the city. We are housed in a 1906 National Register building. Such a cool building. Oh, it's a wonderful building. Yeah. The home of several hardware businesses mm -hmm. in Fort Smith. A big building, four-story building, 62,000 square feet that we're caring for, which is an ongoing challenge. <laughs> and that's why we have fundraisers. We're always raising money to keep, keep us going and keep uh, exhibits fresh and tell the stories of the city. Well, let's talk a little bit about the fundraiser happening this weekend, Party Gras. Party Gras is a traditional Mardi Gras celebration. We changed it to Party Gras a few years ago. This year, it will be Saturday, February 23rd at the Fort Smith Convention Center. $125 per person will include cocktails, an excellent Cajun dinner, auctions, all kinds of fun auction items and uh, dancing to the music of Memphis Soul from Dallas. Excellent band. We're really looking forward to a fun party this year. So much fun. You mentioned the auction. I know that there are a lot of items and there's some pretty neat ones. Kind of walk us through some of the, uh, maybe your favorite items part of this year's auction. Oh, I think the trip to Belize sounds really fun. That is amazing. Amazing. A trip, yeah. And then another trip to New York to see Elton John. That would be amazing mm -hmm. to do. Uh, our traditional Oktoberfest party, which has been part of Party Gras for a long time. It will be held at the home of one of our board members. Mm -hmm. Another fun party is the craft beer and barbecue party. That would be fun, too. Yes, it's a great summer party. Uh, one of our longtime board members, Drew Linder, mm -hmm. is makes the best barbecue mm -hmm. and he always cooks and donates the party and then we uh, serve you know locally Arkansas crafted beer which we have a good a good amount we do so that's always a really fun one this year we're offering something new called buy-in parties for mm. uh, a, a certain number per person uh, you can buy a part of the party and join for those who can't buy the whole party you can buy into a party so that that's something new we're trying this year also we have a uh, you can you don't have to be at party Gras for this mm -hmm. one Newton's <laughs> Jewelers in Fort Smith is mm -hmm. uh, giving us a two thousand dollar shopping spree you can uh, purchase a chance to win this shopping spree and you don't have to be present to win. You can call the museum or uh, go online and buy a, a ticket, the $10 a piece for a chance to win a shopping spree at Newton's Jewelry. So much fun to be had this weekend. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. If you are interested in attending this event this weekend, we'll have all of the information plus how you can get tickets on our website later this morning. That's fox24news.tv. We'll be right back.